Domino comes to us from Big Nick, the creator of Corporate Lifestyle Simulator, as well as its composer that blessed us with the zombie soundtrack. You guys remember this? This time around, he's brought us a gladiator action simulation game that puts you at the head of a Roman era ludus, where you're charged with acquiring, feeding, training, bribing, and sometimes slaughtering gladiators in an effort to become the most winningest coach in all the land by the end of the 365 in-game days you're given per playthrough. I should also mention that, again, he's also composed this soundtrack, and it is fucking great. There's also some pretty deep Twitch integration, which we'll go over after I show you guys some delicious food and remind you of what show you're watching. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is go through the options here so you can see all this cool shit that he's put in here. <laughs> so first off, we've already tested the Twitch bot like back when it was like when he first started leaking out keys to people uh, and the Twitch bot works great. The only thing I have to do is manage the actual voting delay uh, because there's stream delay and then there's how long you have to wait for votes, right? Uh, so that so those things are something you probably have to toy with a little bit while you're doing it. But uh, in terms of everything else, it works. It works pretty much exactly how you'd expect people can actually cheer uh and then you know you get bits and in game you also get you also get bonus so it's like a double dip it's a, it's actually probably one of the best integrations of uh of twitch you know basically uh, twitch chat interactions that i've seen in like any game uh people can cheer you can get paid and then <laughs> they'll be able to up your actual in-game uh awards for that fight unless you lose in which case you'll basically uh throw all that money away but you get to keep the cheer bits uh over here you also have uh, this thing called brutal fights which i think is actually wasn't there when i played initially uh the fights were actually super quick so i'm guessing this is something that either we didn't look at the first time around uh or whatever but uh let's go ahead and actually check it off for this since we're only gonna play for a little bit of time here anyways just to go through through things and of course you can go through and uh take care of all this if you like uh let's go ahead and go to accept and then go to new game and then hop in the sun is setting on the once mighty roman empire much story here uh the next local games are scheduled soon and you aim to participate so when you start off you have a couple of guys here one guy is basically naked it's kind of a way to go through and teach you how to uh and this tells you a little bit about the uh, uh about the person the uh, the 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 heiress to the once mighty da -da 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 -da. <laughs> i'll let you guys read that later uh but really the, the core of this is being able to take and manage your individual uh, your individual characters. So I can actually go through and select Gladiator class, but because I've not actually unlocked anything else, the only thing I can select right now is the, and I'm slaughtering this totally, Thrix, right? Uh, and then there's uh, Retiarius, and then the Mormio, which uh, probably is Mermillo or something, but Mormio just sounds natural. Uh, upper right corner here is the next battle two days, uh, and days left 363. So it takes a couple hours to play through the entire game once, but that also could be, you know, uh, skewed greatly depending on whether or not you're using the brutal, the brutal fights feature or spending a lot of time uh, in windows like this going through and uh, decking out your characters. So just so you get an idea, we start a 500 coin, 100 nice is water, a little bit of food, and a little bit of wine, right? So let's go to click on this right here. This is where you go through and you could just, just basically click right click here so right click right click on the helm right click shield uh right click on some jeans and some some of that yeah and there are no pauldrons or anything like the characters are always barefoot uh and you can upgrade simply by just right clicking again and you could downgrade too but you're gonna take a hit if you do that uh you can assign stats if you want to i can this guy make them all agility uh or all weapon or all defense and so on and so forth and each one obviously has a little bit of um a little bit of, uh, of, 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 of a bonus to whatever that is. So increase hit points, attack damage, all that good stuff. Uh, and actually, I'm going to boost this just a little bit. Uh, there is something that's, uh, that, that was here before, but it's not now. Um, actually, it was a way to increase the character's... Um, uh, well, it's not here now, so it doesn't matter, so let's ignore it. But uh, let's go ahead and go train. And so he's going to train. And this guy, we're going to get him train. And this guy train. All this does is basically just help level agility too. There you go. So that's it. So level two agility. Uh, we could probably boost that a little bit. Uh, we could reward them with wine, coin. Uh, we put them to death. We grant freedom or sell them. There's a lot. Of, there's a lot of management you could do with these guys. You could also. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, you can. Oh yeah, that's right. So we'll just give them like one coin, and now they're pleased, just like that. And then you can go to a private room again. This is another thing. Just keep their 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 morale up. You want their morale to be up while they're fighting for you, right? Uh, I go to the next character. I like I like to go through and give them all one coin before they get started with anything. That way, you know, they're all pleased. Uh, and I usually actually just leave this stuff alone. It's funny. I actually the, the way I've been playing is very hands off. Uh, I let the characters go through and they you know I have them train. Uh, there actually is an auto train ability, but I think it's not unlocked until you actually get the next. Uh, there's another character here. Uh, here we go. A large man. Oh, there he is. So this is basically your uh, your your uh, the guy who's going to help train your coach. Uh, 
guy, and here we go. We say Aut enable automatic gladiator training. That way, they're just constantly training. Now, humility, uh, mind control. Mind control is what you unlock when you want to actually control the characters. I think for the purpose of this, we will unlock it. That way, I can control and show you guys a couple fights. Uh, but for the most part, I actually like playing without mind control, and I just like to, you know, basically manage the stats, manage the morale, manage the finances, manage the bribing the politicians, manage the, all that other stuff, and then I'll let, the, I'll let the AI handle the actual fights themselves. And it's even a lot more fun when you're playing on Twitch because then you can actually have it so that every character is, uh, is effectively uh, a name pulled from chat. So that's what makes it fucking sweet. Uh, and over here, so this is a fight. Now we're going to do a fight, and we can pick a gladiator. Let's go and pick our best guy here. Uh, get him in there. It's 1v1. Uh, one gladiator versus one gladiator. Sometimes it's one versus many, which is basically just throw away your character. <laughs> like, pick somebody. Unless it's a bunch of weak guys. And you can always see what they are, right? You look at this way, and you can see their stats and whatnot. Uh, but if it's, like, a bunch of, like, dudes like this that I'm highlighting here, then you basically want to pick the guy that has the least amount of gear. An expendable character. And I would recommend keeping at least one expendable character around just in case you ever have to go through the one versus many. Uh, and let's see, participation cost is none, surrender allowed, yes. Pick your gladiators, mind control, not research, yeah, so basically we're just gonna let it play. So, prepare for battle. Now we do have the, oh, on the left hand side, this is the, uh, these are the commands here. Uh, I actually don't know if Twitch is on right now, maybe it's in there, like, petitioning for commands, I have no idea. <laughs> but, there we go, let them, let them do the thing. There we go. Victory! And now you're gonna get to see all the good stuff that you got. 450 coin, 20 wine, and I got three four slaves! Holy crap! Man! Alright, so geez. Okay, so they all have uh, their own names and whatnot. So 450. Old man is your villa uninvited, I'll tell you about it. So basically he's an, a politician. You have two of them. You have the uh the magistrate, and then there's another guy on the left hand side you're gonna get. Uh and these are people that you wanna you wanna keep them happy. Um and so you could you could bribe them bribe them, so like say send wine, right? How much wine do I have? Plenty. Uh, so I can send a little wine to satisfy. Oh, we're okay. content. Yeah, he's all yay. He's all yay. Agreeable. Right? Encourage. And here's why you do this. So, th obviously, this is a lot we're sending him. Uh, now we want to suggest gladiator patronage. And what will happen is, as long as you have that particular gladiator as part of your staff, uh, all of his ev all of his needs are going to be paid for and sponsored by this guy. And you can actually get both this guy and the other guy uh, to uh, to manage it for you. You can also purchase more slaves. He's got basically people that are typically ready, uh, already trained um, with gear. Actually, no, this guy thinks he sells slaves. The other guy is a military dude. Uh, he's the one that, for the most part, you get uh, people who are pretty well off. That's, that's a level 10, though, so... That's still not bad. Better than nothing. Uh, so that now, now here's the thing. By doing this, it costs. Oh, hey! The first time go, nice. Uh, it'll actually he'll get pissed the more times you ask him. So, but but you can take him all the way down to the red and keep on asking him, and eventually you might actually get it. So hey, look at that. Yeah, he's adopted Thassius of Batavia. Let's go and see which guy is that. The good guy? No. Who's it? Uh, Th Thassius. Th Fast, he's right there. Agility training. Okay, so we have two days left till the next battle. Uh, here's real quick. We go through. We can buy more food. I typically like to just buy and have as much food and wine on hand as possible. Uh, it doesn't cost particularly uh, a lot of uh, gold, so I basically like to buy them out as quick as much as I can. Um, there's nothing you could do with her for a while. Actually, I don't, I don't think I ever, if I recall. Um, oh crap! We're already next one. Damn! I didn't have time to do anything. Pick gladiators. Let's see. Wait, what is it? Uh, one guy. One v one. All right. What's this guy? Victories to let's just send our, our best dude out there. Let's just do this. Accept terms, 450. Yeah, he's got this. He's got this. And then, like, you know, if you don't have the Twitch bot enabled, you can actually have GIFs enabled to upload GIFs of, of the victory if you'd like to, uh, I think it's like twitter.com slash dominobot. I think dominobot is the actual handle. My guy's got this. My guy's got this. Just slaughter. Just, just done. Dang. Damn. Victory. Beautiful. Oh my god, too many slaves. Uh, I think we're gonna have to start putting some to death just for fun. Uh, let's see, let's just sell them four. This is too many. I don't I don't I don't feel like having to see heavily armed soldier. Here's the other guy. Alright, cool. So this is the guy that you could actually buy actually buy uh, some good uh, good shit from. Now I wanna have this this might be a good amount a good number here. You guys should take the movement around too if you want to keep like some kind of some semblance of organization going, like all the fucking Terrible people in the back and whatnot. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and uh, hire employees real quick. That's something that you guys should definitely see early on. 
Uh, here you go. So you can basically hire people. Uh, this guy would uh, unlock different types of healing or actually heal people for you in between fights because they don't automatically reheal, right? Uh, like instantly, I should say. Uh, architect, this allows you to build uh, extra rooms so you can put people in rooms. Um, uh, then you have uh, armor update. This guy will sometimes just tinker on his own. You can unlock a feature that will just tinker on his own and occasionally be like, oh, hey, I made this really cool helmet. And then you can put it on one of your characters. Um, I think that's how it works. <laughs> and, uh, sacrifice the gods. Actually, I don't think I've ever even gotten to some of these. Uh, Vintner, wine magistrate. Okay. Uh, provides, consumes nothing. Healing, training, and morale boost. Okay, cool. A bard. Yeah, this guy basically sings songs. Jeez. Uh, uh, educator. Morale and AI proficiency. Uh, reduce cost for upgrades. Inexpensive food equipment repairs. Lotus upgrades. Gladiator healing. Dirty work, free pit fights. All right, so let's just go ahead. Some of these guys cost actual money and food a day, as you can see. Let's get the one that costs nothing a day. That's kind of neat. Uh, we'll hire him. And then we will, let's see, uh, sacrifice the gods. We just cause and upgrades and resources. Where's the, uh, here we go, this guy. You can only hire so many of them, though. Just keep in mind, you can't just go through and hire. You're not, you're not going to eventually get through all of these guys and have, like, an entire staff. Uh, you can only hire as many slots as you have in between pillars up here. <laughs> so it's like... Basically, oh man, already another fight. Crap. Oh boy. Oh man, this is a slave fight. Okay, no, no. One gla one v one. Oh, wait, look at that. <laughs> Donis Alphonis. Wait a minute. It's, I think it's in it's in chat right now. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh great, I can't wait to see chat. What are you doing? You're not streaming this. Oh, here we go. Uh, so yeah, you see right here, his health is not all the way up. So let's go ahead and get this going. Accept terms. Let's do this. Again, this is probably going to be a wipe. Uh, just probably going to slaughter maybe this guy. We got it. We got it. I have not even researched anything. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No! <laughs> oh, God. Oh, look at this. Oh, okay, so here, here's what I'm talking about. This is the actual thing. It's funny. So the bot is in chat right now, and I'm not streaming. So rip. Uh, but people can actually vote to live or die. Um... And uh, if there's anybody in there right now, then they're probably, uh, you'll probably see the needle move a little bit. Uh, do 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 do. <laughs> in the meantime, we just basically have to wait. Uh, can I actually skip this? Uh, no, there's no skip yet. I thought that that would have been in. That's something that I would look forward to. The ability to basically decide, override chat, you know? Oh, this thing moving to the left a little bit. There might be somebody in there voting. There's probably like one person that's just like pay attention, paying attention right now. Just like middle of the day. Just like, what the fuck is Mike doing? And oh god, I have no idea what's gonna happen once it gets to the end here. Uh kaput. Okay, well, it was I mean you you were close, man. Just one all it needed was like one person to say no. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn, that was like that was a good character too. Shit. Alright, so let's do this real quick just so you guys get an idea of how this works. Go oh, mind control, that's gonna take a while too. Your father calls on you. Uh you show great promises. No no no, you're natural. In order to qualify for a great championship games, you'll need to win uh, that's right, regional championships. So this is the other thing. I'm glad all this stuff rolls out so quickly. It allows me to kind of explain it all right, because I in sequence. Uh so these are basically pit fights uh, that you could go championship games. They're basically fights just like you've already seen, but they're typically in larger arenas, or there's like a special champion type character that you're fighting against. Uh, uh, and let's go and actually do one just so you could see um, just like how how bad badly your characters get slaughtered slaughtered here um, Let's go ahead and throw that and, and then and then uh, sure there we go. Oh, just three. Okay, cool So it's 3v1 and you're probably thinking oh, yeah 3v1. It's gonna be easy, right? No <laughs> No, no, no as in not at all uh, Look at this guy's at 550 health my guys are going there barefoot uh, With no weapons, so they're not going to actually attack sometimes the crowd will actually throw weapons out into the stands this is just a slaughter. They were just all oh, we're just watching this guy just slaughter all these guys. Just nope. Look at that. oh yeah, Zig when you can okay. Donna <laughs> Corey's watching. Donna Savannah is watching right now. Uh, and so that's what's great. Like people can cheer while you're uh, while you're playing. Got one. Yeah, yeah. Got one one bonus coin if I win, but it's just not gonna happen. Yep, done. Oh, lost. Oh man. Defeat! Oh, good. I need to get rid of those guys anyways. Time to spend my money on the... On the... Here, you've, you've just been upgraded there, kid. <laughs> let's see. Uh, he's good. He's encouraged. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. Get him just slightly better gear all the way around. You can get some better knee pads. Da -da 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 -da. Get something, yeah. Get him into the Iron Age here. Uh, we also have a lot of... Let's see. Let's go to the next one. Get him up. And that's good. What is that? Dead Man's Face. That's cool. Let's give him that. 
a couple upgrades all the way around. Oh, this guy's not even a class yet. <laughs> He's probably like, hey guys, 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 yo, 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 yo. <laughs> Hook me up, please. Uh, let's see. Get at least some decent stuff here. And is that it? How many for money? I got plenty of money, tons of money, tons of cash. Uh, meditate provides great. Ah, here it is. Greater AI attack efficiency. That's what it was. That's what it was missing. Uh, and this basically, yeah, you just slide this up and it counts as one of your stats there. And you could just kind of move that around that way. The AI does a better job than, uh, than what we've seen. <laughs> Especially when he lost against freaking ton of Uh, let's go ahead and click on this guy. See automatic upgrade. Uh, yeah, totally. That's the thing where he'll just go around and just do that. Prayer to Neptune. Consume one water, provide one wine a day. Oh, nice. Okay. Uh, I like that. Uh, occasionally upgrade a glider's defense training. Cool. Let's do that. Uh, how are we doing on food? Let's go ahead and go through here before we get to the next fight. Good. And let's go take a look at this guy's, uh, what he's suggest gladiator patronage. Let's see if we can get him. Send a couple wines here. There we go. And then we'll go through suggest gladiator patronage. And, uh, hey, look at that. Wow. That's great. Uh, how about this guy? Did his, did his guy die yet? Uh, not possible this time. Who was this guy? I think it was Thassius. Thassius of buh, something. Uh, and then over here, we already lost that fight. It's, it's not going to happen. And over here, researching mind control. So I'm actually going to be able to control them just a minute before the next fight, at least, for sure. Uh, then you can see the process of, or the the um, actual progress bar underneath each character here as they go through this stuff. Uh, see, prayer to Neptune, prayer to Mercury. What is this upgrade? Gladiator weapon? Sure. And then a bard, it's on Venus. Each one has a different thing. Boost gladiator, tra strength training, all that good stuff. Um, you can actually get uh, punching bags and like uh, coal pits and stuff like that to help them, you know, work on their agility. And you can put them on a coal pit. <laughs> That'll work. Like gladiator can attack opponents left or right side when facing up or down, high or low or sideways. Nimble stance, always run unless required. Uh, geez, nimble stance, how quickly I get that. So only one more day until the show. So now I feel like this is probably not going to happen. We will see. Here we go, 1v1, and actually, since I have mind control to log, uh, yeah, click to select, deselect player control. So let's go ahead and take, uh, not any of our, oh, who's the one that he, the other guy was sponsored by, which one was sponsored, shit. Well, let's go and take this guy out for a spin. Oops. 1v1. Accept. I could choose to reject, but, you know, but you know, we ain't bitches. Alright, so let's go and select him here. Okay, then do I have the roll? Oh, I don't have roll unlock, so that's gonna be weird. I tell you, the AI is ultimately better than me. Uh, oh god, crap, 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 crap. Oh man, keep him arm's length. At arm's length, that's what I'm talking about. Yes. No oh, man! With my bare hands! Mouse and keyboard. Uh, I got a whole bunch of people I don't care about. Let's go ahead and, uh, hey guys. Let's put them to death. Yep. And then this guy at Grand Freedom. Thank you! How's how's morale doing? Does that help with morale at all? <laughs> Discord, okay, I will give him a coin. Hey, alright, he's like, what coin? Alright, sure. Just watch that guy get slaughtered for literally no reason at all. Uh, but sure, I'll take your money. Let's go ahead and actually upgrade these guys a little bit more too. I get these pauldrons. I keep forgetting these. Or the, uh... Oh. What? Who? Oh, I think it was a bug. Selecting a character that was dead. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't, like, upgrade them. Um, let's see. Get these shoulders going. Alright, I think we could... I think we can go back in and, and challenge that... That guy. That big dude. There are Actually, that's already maxed out. Damn. Yeah, hmm. The shield. The shield gets nuts, though. Big ass red shield. Let's get him a big ass. Let's get some defense going. There we go. Nice. Okay. And then let's go ahead and check. Make sure we bond everything we need. Okay. Done research nimble stance. Let's get him started on something else. Even though actually we're, we're going to cut this here in a minute. Uh, let's go ahead and choose another one. Siege. Uh, Widowmaker, warriors, pull it. Uh, I'm looking for the one that's like a big ass dude. Dark structure of a man who has apparently pulled a man's kneecaps into a fine red mess at a party. Uh, friendly killer who's reported to have cut a donkey's soul to shreds. To shreds. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, damn, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> I was meant to hover over it. I only have three. Well. I know which three I'm picking. <laughs> the only three I freaking have. Oh crap! Here we go. All right, so I got four slaves, a significant amount of money-ish. Okay, 
It's not even that great of a of a bounty. <sighs> okay. I'm gonna let these guys go. Oh no. Oh god, never mind. I am gonna fight. Oh my god, that's all my guys! <laughs> Wait, did I have brutal brutal on or off? Because damn that went fast. <laughs> Uh, brutal, brutal would be very accurate. All right, so uh, I guess at this point I can either choose to, because uh, it's not game over. I could purchase slaves. Keep on going. Let's go ahead and see purchase three coin. Sure. Uh, let's see. This guy's got some good stuff though. Purchase gladiators. Uh, God, just weak. Uh, this is going to buy the first couple until you run out of money. There we go. And then we'll see if we can't heal them up here. We'll do one more fight. Uh, let's see, heal, one coin, heal, oh, I keep forgetting to heal, last a few times around, ah, screw that guy, heal, this guy's got like a midriff, that's awesome, let's see, actually we'll go and throw him into a, give him some gear, just click all over the place, cha-ching, good, ready to go, alright, warning, no money, yeah, I know, a large, angry, venomous snake has been a gladiator, okay, the gla- <laughs> Oh man, well that was unfortunate, <laughs> but we don't have any money, uh, so and we have two days left, one more day left until the next fight, the next fight is going to be our last one here, um, oh that's hilarious, aim attack is about to actually be unlocked before the fight, before the fight, and oh, <laughs> it's right, 1v1, we got this, we got this, except I don't care what the terms are, we're doing, this is the last fight, this is the last one, we're doing this for, for, for all the, for all the whatevers. Oh crap. No. Oh, I don't have. Oh. Run, 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 run. That's running? Yeah, it is actually. <laughs> oh, the, the range of my weapon is weak. See him, see him roll? See that guy roll? Damn. Oh, I still got him. Yeah. <laughs> you won all kinds of stuff. And three more slaves. Yeah, it gets pretty. It gets pretty. Uh, it, pretty rough when you have a ton of slaves. Uh, so that's it. I mean, like, you know, we're on battle, uh, 315, 315 days left. So as you can see, there's still a number of, uh, of days left. You have plenty of time, but if you, if, I mean, I wiped, I lost all my characters, but since I still had money, I was able to go ahead and throw down and, you know, uh, and, and buy a couple more slaves and, you know, gladiators and whatnot and put them to, to, to death, essentially. Um, but a, uh, but an absolute blast to play on Twitch, uh, on stream, uh, total like time killer game. It's like, oh, hey guys, we made, we beat this game like two hours early. Let's go and play, you know, something else. Um, the soundtrack, I mean, I don't know what else I could say about the soundtrack, right? Like, um, I've already preached it on Twitter. That was brutal fights. Uh, <laughs> uh, I've already preached it on Twitter. Uh, you guys know I've talked about Big Nick and his music before. Uh, uh, the uh, Corporate Lifestyle Simulator, a.k.a. the Zombie soundtrack uh, from 2000, I think, 14 or 15, uh, was actually one of my favorite. And I can't remember what year because I, I still listen to it to this day. So <laughs> the years get blurry, but um, still one of my favorite game soundtracks of all time. This one is, re is right in line uh, with the Zombie soundtrack except for he definitely added a lot of uh a lot of like period flair in terms of the uh type of sounds and the way that he plays uh the way he sequence like certain parts and everything so uh super impressed like you know big nick good like all around uh developer he does everything um definitely someone to aspire to be like i think <laughs> pardon me while i fanboy out a little bit <laughs> but yeah you can you get the sound uh, soundtrack uh at uh, bignick.bandcamp.com uh or of course you can just click right here and it'll take you to the page uh but that's it that's domina again simple game like simple it's like management and you could choose not to fight like i actually prefer not to fight myself uh, that way I could blame the game. Um, and just, I just basically manage it, especially when you have like, you know, cause you could tab, tab to, to switch it between your gladiators. Uh, but lots, lots of times I just let them just do their thing, you know, just, just, just stack it and just have a bunch of gladiators and just manage all the other stuff and actually, actually take the role of the, uh, uh, actually, I don't know what your character's called. <laughs> the manager, right? The coach. <laughs> you just basically take that role as the team owner, right? Uh, and just make those decisions and everything and just manage all this off the back end, not necessarily getting there and fighting yourself. But you have a choice to do that. You don't have to choose mind control. 
So that's it. Game is called Domina from Big Nick. Soundtrack is awesome. Game is great. And it's a blast to play on Twitch, as I've already said. So that's it. Mike BAK phoning in for breakfast. Thanks for watching. See you guys later.